I've been um, doing peer work um, for the last few years here at Peak Place. It's been quite rewarding actually. They were a bit standoffish for the first few weeks, but um, once I sort of, had, they realised that I was coming back and wasn't just a once off thing and, you know, once I got to talk to a few of them, um, things became a lot easier and um, a lot more approachable. And I actually, I've um, made friends with quite a few of the people that are here now and, you know, they'll approach me down the street and say hello and, you know, so it's building up a um, relationship with the clients. The chance to listen, to have them themselves listened to really moved some people and I was, you know, several of them mentioned having someone to listen to their stories. Um, and, you know, sure enough, I wasn't pushy, but several, at least, well, a handful of people came in and got tested because they had spoken to me outside. Yeah, and a few of them yeah. actually mentioned that um, it was Steve that referred them in, so it worked quite well. Yeah, and the best thing, of course, was a few of them had dogs, and I love dogs, and uh, so I engaged with the dogs, and the owners then engaged with me. seen a few clients actually um, go through the process of um, you know um, diagnosis then um, full testing then treatment then curing I've seen a couple of other clients who have taken more than one time to get through but have in, actually gone through treatment um, the second or third time around so it's working it's win-win really I think they appreciate the time that you spend to listen to their story you know what i mean you're not just like a lot of times in the clinical setting um that you have to get the patient in and out so yeah. that you can get the next patient in yeah. and um you know it can become a lot of like yeah 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 not really listening but you know with us we can take that little bit of extra time yeah. and talk to them and actually relate to them on their level and you know it, makes them a lot more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people, even if they've only had it for a while, short while, they think this is how they are and you sort of forget how you used to be. And it's not until a while after you're cured that when energy starts coming back and enthusiasm starts coming back, you know, that yeah. you realise how different you realise life, can, life be. can actually be a bit better. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is the best job I've ever had because it's win-win. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in my experience, it's it's been um, really good. Uh, like um, Steve was saying, the, these people, most of the people who are accessing hepatitis C treatment at the moment, are not in the position in their life or frame of mind where they want to go to a clinic or they don't have time or transport or whatever. Um, the fact that we can get out there and reach them where they are and offer them incentives and to help them out, it, it makes a huge difference on their part, you know. I think they can see it within a minute or so that we're peers, we've been there.